Hi there, Martin here. Thank you for joining me once again for a turning video this week. Um, imagine me doing a turning video. Um, it's been a while. I'm really sorry that I haven't posted a turning video, but as you've seen, I've been uh, really busy um, helping to organise the UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium on the 18th and 19th of June next year. If you have supported that, or are supporting it, or are going, thank you very much indeed. It's, it's great to see um, so much support coming from all over the world um, on that front, not least the UK and Ireland. I'm posting videos, um, update videos, separately about the uh, symposium, so I won't go into all, the, all of the details here. If you have commented on one of my videos recently, thank you very, very much, um, as always. Uh, if you are a new subscriber, a big warm welcome, and if you are an existing subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I am getting through all of the comments um, slowly. Um, uh, my time is being chewed up with um, other bits and pieces at the moment, but I am getting into um, uh, replying to comments as soon as I possibly can. Now, this week's turning project, as I mentioned in Turner's Journey episode 15 last week, is a spindle project um, retrofitting a handle onto a wand stick. Um, a customer of mine uh, said that her daughter had found a stick um, on the ground somewhere and said that it looked like a wand, and she's asked me to retrofit um, a handle to it. So here's the piece. There's the, the handle. It's a piece of U um, that's obviously been shaped, textured for a grip, um, and then just with a burnt border um, on either side of the, uh, the knurled grip. Uh, sanded to 600, finished with Hampshire Sheen, and then the stick has been finished with Danish oil and glued into the handle. Um, I hope you enjoy the project. It's pretty simple, um, but it's been really nice to actually um, turn something quite so cute um, after many weeks without actually turning virtually anything at all. So thank you very much indeed for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video on retrofitting a wand handle. sand the bottom of the, the wand down so I get a nice snug fit and I think everything will work out quite nicely proportionately. So first thing to do is to turn this round and because it's at a slight angle um, and also because of my incident a few weeks ago um, I'm going to be turning it quite gingerly. So let's um, reorganise the camera and get this turned round and then we can go through, uh, go through and make a really cute little wand handle. Right, got a nice sharp roughing gouge, turn the ladle, bring it up to speed. That'll do. Nice light cut to start with. Pretty 
pretty much as round as, um, as, ra- as round as I want it for the moment. And I think I'm going to put um, a tenon on that end. So I'm, th- I'm going to square up the face as much as possible and then put, uh, put the tenon on this end. There, a little tenon on, um, on the end nearest the, uh, nearest the headstock. And whilst it's still between centres, I'm going to um, mark down roughly where I want the, roughly how big I want the handle to be, which if that's my hand size, which is there, uh, I can make it a touch smaller, actually. Now I'll leave it at my hand size, so the young lady's got nice handle to, to grab hold of so I've just made a pencil mark to how big I want the handle to be it may well end up being a little bit bigger but that at least gives me a gives me a good place to start so with um, with a square ended tool I'm gonna take it down to a nice hand hand size grip and then um, start shaping spindle gouge to be just a, just a tiny bit below centre. Tiny, tiny bit, actually. <laughs> there, that'll do. And now I'm going to start shaping. Um, I'm going to flatten off the front here so I can put the uh, Jacobs chuck in. Actually, I'll do that first. So then I can drill it out. There's a nice flat surface there on the right hand side for the, for the drill bit and then I only want to go in about an inch so I'll leave a little mark on the drill about there um, so that's only about as far as I want to go in And slow the blade down and then just gently guide the bit. Into the piece, pulling it back out to remove the swarf of course. A little bit further just to be on the safe side. There we go. Yeah, and there's the hole drilled. Lovely. And then with the hole, the 8mm hole drilled, I can bring the tailstock back up and then with the revolving centre just pull it back up to give to give the piece a little bit of support. Just while I do that, the main shaping of the handle. The tool rest lined up again. Spindle gouge, a bit too high. There's good. Right, let's get shaping.
there we go, there's a little handle. It's a little bit too small for my hand, which is um, fine because it's for a, a young lady. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to sand it down now to um, 600, I think, maybe, f yeah, four or 600, and then I'm going to add some texture into the centre to form a, to form a nice grip. But I'll, I won't bore you with the sanding because it's boring. Done. Right, we're sanded down to 600 grit now, um, all around the piece, and I'm going to take a, the knurling texturing tool, and then starting in the middle of the handle, I'm going to add a bit of a grip, and then move out either side of the middle to ensure that um, it's even along the piece, if that makes sense. I'm going to turn the lathe speed down. Funny, I've not used, I've had this tool for months, but I've not actually used it yet. So, put the tool squarely on the rest, and it's all lined up with the centre, and then... Push in like so. Lovely. Very nice. Right. Get the lathe running again and then line up line up the left hand side of the tool with the right hand side of the mark already made. And push it in. And then do the same on the other side. So line up the left side of the first tool mark with the right hand side of the tool and put it in go back over to the right hand side and the same again back to the left And then one more to the right, but I'm not quite, didn't quite line it up well enough. But it still looks nice. So I'm going to do one more, one more up here. And a bit of one down on the, on the left hand side. So, it's giving it a nice grip, and then I'm just going to take my thin parting tool and just leave a little border, tiny, tiny little border on each end. Top and the bottom of the 
the top and the bottom of the um, of the of the little grip in the centre. It was quite nice. And now I'm going to finish it with some um, Hampshire Sheen, of course. What else? And then after it's been rubbed back, I'm just going to take the Hampshire Sheen and apply it to the piece, giving it a nice rub in all round as far as I can go. I've used far too much. <laughs> it's surprising how little of this stuff you actually need. inside the hole because that will um, prevent the glue from sticking completely. So when I've given Hampshire Sheen a little while to, to dry off, I can speed the lathe up, speed the lathe up and give it a good buffing. come up wonderfully. Right, now I need to part it off down the end, um, which I'll do carefully, hand sand the end and then prepare the actual wand itself. Uh, okay, on, on the um, disc sander I've just tidied up, or just sanded down the end so it fits nice and snugly into, uh, into the handle, like so. And then just um, a few blobs of CA glue and we'll be ready to call it finished. There we go. All done. I'm happy to call that um, a very cute finished project. Uh, I finished the, uh, the shaft of the wand with some Danish oil just to uh, darken it down a little bit and uh, protect um, the bark a bit as well. It's glued in and I've finished the end off um, just roughly on the on the disc sander just so it doesn't have a sharp pointy end. And yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Um, uh, it, uh, it's a really nice little project and I, and I hope the little lady who it's for will uh, enjoy it for a long time to come. So that's it, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, the Retro One Fit project please do like share and subscribe if you haven't done so already i always try and post um at least one video a week which is on friday um but also if i can um i also post a project video like this one or bowls or whatever um during the week as well so that's it for now um thanks for watching i will see you on friday for turner's journey episode 16 i think it is um, but for now, um, I need to vanish. So, bye for now. Thanks. Bye.